Good morning, guys. Um, so, you're falling. Okay, good morning. So, my name is Simone. Welcome back to a little vlog. So, we gotta talk. I'm sick. I literally got sick the last day of my trip to Maryland. We went home for Christmas to Maryland. As you guys know, we, moved, we live in Texas now. Um, or I live in Texas now. So, I'm hot. It's hot. It's 80 degrees here in Texas. I was supposed to vlog while I was in Maryland. Vlogging totally did not go as planned. Like, it did not go as planned. I was already supposed to have another video up of finishing my semester with me. That video, I edited it. Everything was ready to go. Utter fail. Utter fail. So I'm like, every time I'm trying to create content, it's not working. It's literally not working. This is, I'm wearing a sports bra thing from Skims, and I'm like, it's not, it's not holding up as much as I would want. Anyway, whatever. I'm sick. That's why my voice sounds like, um, yeah, I've just been trying to get over this cold or whatever. I took a COVID test that was negative, so yay, but I just, yeah, my throat now. I feel like I'm getting over the sickness. Now my voice has changed today. Yesterday it was fine. Today, terrible. Anyway, I went grocery shopping today because I was like, well, we need some groceries. We need some food. I'm feeling better. Like, I'm not feeling like sick. I'm not feeling like I got a fever or anything. I'm not coughing anymore. Well, I'm not coughing today. Thank God, I've been coughing for days. Um, so I felt, felt better. So I was like, okay, let me go to the grocery store. And I didn't bring you guys with me because I was like, let me just get this stuff. Anyway, I went to the grocery store. And then I went to go get my um, some gas in my car. And then I went to go get an oil change. All of this stuff is not supposed to take that long. It took me forever. The gas, not the gas, the um, oil change, Jiffy Blue, packed. And then their cards stopped working. Their payments stopped working. So I was stuck there with the oil change. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys a grocery haul. Let's scoot you back. Like, the voice? I think the voice is kind of given. Just a little bit, huh? Okay. I don't... I still have not figured out how to set this camera up so that it will stop freaking falling. Give me. Okay. I don't know if I want my full body to show. This is not a cook with me, but I don't, I really don't know how to get this camera to just stay still. Alrighty, you're kind of crooked, but it's okay. All right, anyway, so let me bring all the groceries on top of the counter. Also, I need to go order some things on Amazon today, but we're going to do that like I want to create. Okay, so here's the plan for today. I'm going to show you the groceries that I got. I'm going to put the groceries away. I want to make a vision board. I want to clean out my TV console, and then I want to um, order things on Amazon or order things online because I need a few things for the house. I was going to go to Target, but I'm like, I should just get it from Amazon for real because well, might as well. And then I want to like straighten up my office because um yeah I haven't like I'm gonna show you my office after this I got my chair my desk like I'm excited but I haven't like done anything yet with it I haven't even used it yet because I got my chair the day before we were leaving to go back to Maryland so anyway I'm gonna do a quick little tour of what we got at the grocery store so first broccoli I love broccoli and my girlfriend's meal prep she needs broccoli I didn't say this i'm going on a calorie deficit a caloric deficit um i did it when i lost weight the first time so about two years ago i went on a really strong fitness journey that was like the best i felt like ever i looked really good i mean i could have kept going and i would look better but i looked really good i got myself down to 179 uh, 179 pounds i know people don't care about weight but for me um i've always struggled with my weight my siblings are very petite very skinny they got that body i don't want to be skinny but my siblings all my siblings are like a lot smaller than me so i've always kind of been like the odd one out like i've always gained weight super easily i could eat a freaking cracker and gain 10 fucking pounds but anyway we're loving the body that we're in but we want to feel like good you know and i don't want it to be like my new year's goal to lose weight but i just want to feel like good all the time and i personally know like this my body is at 230 pounds right now um and I know that it's not healthy for my body to be this way. Even if, like, you know. So 170, going back to 170, I hit 179. So to get to 170 is my goal. But if I see that I like the way that my body looks 
at 190, 180, I'm okay with that. Even if I'm 200 pounds and I like the way that I look, I'm 200 pounds and I like the way that I look and nothing's gonna change that. But I just feel like I want, I wanna body, I wanna recomp my body. And I also know I need to lose some of the fat because I want a healthy heart. I wanna be able to run. That's, I'm gonna put that on my vision board because I've never been a runner. Even when I played sports, I was like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> but I wanna be able to like run or have more stamina. Um, and I want to do like Pilates, really tone up, and I just want to get rid of some of the fat on my body. So, our goal is not surrounded by weight, like it's not surrounding weight loss. We're not even going to have that goal this year because we should just love every stage, but we are going to be healthier. So, broccoli, like I said, I just had to add that in there because, yeah. Pineapple chunks, I got two bags of pineapple chunks, and I got two bags of mango chunks because my girlfriend drinks like mango pineapple smoothies and I drink like berry smoothies. I'll drink that, but I just think it's a little too sweet. Um, I watched, okay, backstory this behind a lot of this crap. So <laughs> I watched this mom on TikTok. I don't even know what the mom looks like. I just know what the sun looks like. The sun is probably two, I think. And it's, I don't even know their channel or their TikTok name. They are, uh, I don't know the TikTok name, but if I find it, I'll probably put it in my description. But I literally love their channel. I love, I keep saying channel, but I love their TikTok. It's a toddler who eats like a man. A toddler that eats like a man. But the mom feeds him so freaking healthy. Like, I honestly, growing up, like, I saw this one TikTok that was like, what is things that, like, you thought were just for white people? Like, I honestly thought, like, some of the stuff that I'm about to show you, like, this is chickpea, um, chickpea puffs. She feeds her son chickpea puffs. I gotta find her TikTok. Let me find her TikTok. She feeds her son chickpea puffs, and I'm like, that is such a white person thing to do. But I'm like, we can, we can be healthy. And she feeds him like one ingredient things, and that's how I want to eat. I've been saying I wanted to eat that. And I'm like, if a toddler can eat this way, and he literally eats things, and I'm like, I would eat this every single day. I would eat that. Yes, he eats a banana every day. He eats avocado. He eats. He just eats like a pan. Her, her TikTok is Erica Cost with a K, Erica Cost, and like this, I don't want to show him even though it's on the internet, I don't want to put it on my, tic, on my Instagram, I mean my YouTube, but yeah, she feeds him like one ingredient things, and when I say one ingredient things, I mean like, it's not a bunch of preservatives, so for a snack, he eats strawberries, or like he'll eat like a, a strawberry berry almond milk smoothie or something you know what i mean like it's not like a bunch of it's not like a smoothie that you buy from the store that has a bunch of preservatives or it's not like it's just a bunch of simple ingredient foods so that's exactly how i want to start eating but these are these organic um chickpea puffs i got the white cheddar flavor the big bag of the white cheddar flavor was sold out so i got these ones and i just know he eats these so i'm trying them um cage-free egg whites um and then I eat acai bowls a lot when I, this is what I did when I lost weight the first time. So I'm going back to the basics. We're not doing anything crazy, but chia seeds. They're really good for you. And so I'm gonna put them on top of my acai bowls. I'm about to sneeze. Okay, I got two things of flank steak. Um, it's kind of first flank steak. I don't know if I like this angle. Like, I feel like I look really tall in my kitchen when I have it at this angle, but like I'm literally only 5'5. Five five, but like every time I record a video in my kitchen, I'm like, I look tall. Like really tall. Um, but yeah. I got two of the flank steaks because we made these meals from HelloFresh and they were so good. It was like a cilantro steak jasmine rice bowl. I got two things of strawberries, which I'm going to cut. I'm gonna cut these up, wash them and cut them so they're already prepped and then seal them so they don't go bad. I grocery shop once a week. So this is all gonna last a week. Hopefully it lasts longer, but. And I got two things of raspberries. I don't know, last time I got raspberries, they were bomb AF, so I got them again. We're gonna wash and cut them. No, we're not gonna cut them. We're gonna wash them. Okay, then I got one green pepper, one poblano, poblano pepper. I don't know if you guys know what it is, but I can show you. I didn't know what it was, but this big one, roast it in a cast iron and then cut it up in your food. Yum. 
I got four limes because I'm making the cilantro lime sauce for our meals. Um, two tomatoes in case we, I like tomatoes. I used to hate them, but I'm a, I'm a fan now. Um, cilantro to make the sauce and to put, we love cilantro, so we'll garnish anything with cilantro. Oats, because when I was losing weight, this was literally, I used to use like one eighth of a cup, so half, get a fourth cup and just put half. This is filling AF. So I would either do overnight oats or, but I'm not so big on overnight oats anymore. I just don't really like the taste of it. But I like smoothies, but put, put this in it. It makes you fuller. And I feel like it's good for you. And it has protein in it. So, um, smoothies, acai bowls, put it on top. I would even put this on top because I just like, I don't know, I like the texture of the oats. But it makes you, it's filling. I was craving a peanut butter jelly sandwich today, so I got jelly. And it's only 40 calories per tablespoon. Kind of hot, but. Um, I got three peppers, yellow, red, and orange. About peppers. Because, you know, we're trying to add more fruits and veggies into our thing. I'm not going to drink this because I hate it. Ugh, it's so nasty. But um, orange juice, the Simply Light one, low calories. Personally, think it's disgusting. My girlfriend loves it. It's nasty. I don't recommend. Okay, so. <clears throat> I got cinnamon because uh, I also, I'll drink like a peanut butter banana shake and I have to put cinnamon in it and with the oats and it's very filling. The cinnamon is just good. Now, I was trying to get away from getting this almond milk Am I talking too much? I was trying to get away from getting this almond milk, but I know I'm going to be drinking shakes every single day. So we're just going to like just have it. Oh, my shirt's getting wet. I'm just, I just bought it so that, you know, I have it. Honestly, I shouldn't have bought it, but whatever. Because we don't drink actual milk anymore. We only drink, well, I feel like I haven't drinking milk milk, like whole milk in years. I got grapes because more back, more fruits, more veggies. I hope they get bananas because I can go through this whole thing in a week. And um, I'm missing something. Um, red potatoes because I guess my girlfriend's trying to do like breakfast bowls, which I could do. I could, I could do that. And because I make breakfast potatoes and she loves when I make breakfast potatoes, all I do is cut up some potatoes and season it with a couple seasonings and put it in the air fryer. Um, but they're just so good. They're so good. Um, I get almond butter, the classic one from Justin's. Um, I think Justin's is vegan, if I'm not mistaken. Is it a V? I think it's a vegan brand, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, uh, this is the almond butter that we used to use on top, on top and in our peanut butter smoothies. So, got that. This is the only one that I started buying. This is almost $6. If I had kids, this would definitely not be happening because that $6 for 28 fluid ounces of almond milk, I'm going to start making my own almond milk. That's kind of another goal that I have. Like, I, I want a lot of my goals to be a lot of things that I've said, like, in the past. Like in the past year, like what I've said constantly. And I'm always like, I want to make my own stuff. That's so simple, but whatever. I think my voice is getting kind of annoying. This is not how I normally sound. Anyway, almond milk. This is the one. It's almond milk. This is what I normally use. So I don't normally use the Simply Almond Milk. But I was like, this was cheaper for 64 fluid ounces. I know this is a lot healthier. It's gum-free, oil-free, no fillers. Like it's hella, it's, it's a lot healthier. I still had to pick it up. So we're gonna try and use this one. Um, and just use the other one as like a filler, maybe do half and a half. Anyway, that was my that was my haul and I spent where's my receipt? I don't remember. I spent $120. Is that worth it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna put this these groceries away. Let's try these chickpea puffs actually. This is my girlfriend says this is my problem. I go grocery shopping and I'm like, I need to taste something. So I taste it. And she's like, that's your problem. I'm like, girl, bye. Anyway, these are organic chickpea puffs, vegan white cheddar. Oh, they're vegan. 
Duh. 130 calories for um, the whole container. And I'm excited. You want water? You want water? Give me one second. Give me one second, okay? Who wants water? Okay, we're gonna. Oh, okay, they look like this. No, no. My dog just ripped apart his water ball. Okay, so they're good. No. <laughs> but. They're dry. They're dry. But once you eat like two, three, you're like, oh, yeah, I like these. First bite, I was like, mmm. But once you eat a couple, you get used to the taste of it. They're good. Okay. Okay. Plant protein. Four grams of protein per bag. I should have bought more bags. Are they expensive? Mm, for six of these, it's about six dollars. Is that not the cheapest? No. But, it's pretty good. Yum. For a little snack. I'm digging it. Is it a baby snack? Probably, but I'm digging it. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna put these groceries away. I'll, um, after I'm done putting everything away, and I'm gonna show you guys my office after, so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. This is the office space. So, hold on. So what I was thinking for the office was, okay, so what I was thinking for the office, because I just have like a couple of boxes for moving. I really want to take a nap right now. I just cannot, this bra is not giving support. Okay, anyway. I want to take a nap so, so bad right now, but you know what? I'm gonna let me figure out, let me get a couple. Couple more things done. So, I got these drawers, but I'm loving the way my desks look. The way my desk looks without anything on it. So I'm like, do I want to? You guys are really up close and personal right now. My hair looks, we're not even gonna say anything bad about ourselves. Okay, so for Christmas, I put these on my Christmas list. Um, I put this on my Christmas list and I got it. I don't know if they're clear or if they're the white ones. Because I put two different ones. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not even going to guess. But I like the way that this looks without anything under it. So I was like, maybe I don't even have to put these under it. But I got them, so I might as well. Unless I like put them in a closet somewhere. But they're for your desk. And I really hope they're the ones that stick and not screw. Because I can't screw anything in here. Okay. a little unboxing my chair is literally so comfortable and then i can move you guys how fucking cool okay oh they're the clear ones with the white tops cute so it's a mixture <laughs> okay i don't remember it's a two pack oh how sweet so this is not gonna fit anything on my desk but that's okay it's not gonna fit like my laptop or anything, but it's still cute. It's gonna fit like 
pens and stuff like that. So, this is it. I'm gonna have to read the directions because I'm not seeing. Oh, they're two different sizes. That's cute. Where are the directions? There's no directions. How am I supposed to know how to do this? Mm hmm. Bro, oh, that's the crazy thing with sometimes on Amazon, like directions, please. Alright, anyway. Okay. These are the drawers, and I can't remember if they go like on top of each other. Like if they're supposed to go like this. Bro. I don't think so. But they're super cute and they're clear. So, and then you just put it under the desk. You just put it under the desk onto the thing. Super cute. But I just need to figure out how I'm gonna get this on. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And it's clear. And then I can just pull it out. Okay. Okay. Okay, our little gadget. Oh, it comes with sticky things. Bro, why is there no directions? That is so hella annoying. I think they go like this. But that is still hella annoying. Like, bro, I hope that these sticky things work because I don't want to use the screws. I don't want to put any holes in this desk. So the screws come in this cute little bag. I don't know why I'm doing this little whole unboxing with you i haven't opened it up yet i guess it's pretty self-explanatory similar you don't need you don't need directions what am i talking about and then you put the two strips there and you put one strip here and then you put one strip there uh, shibuya okay Alrighty. that's that but like I was saying, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with my office. I don't know if I want to keep my table here or if I want to put it on that wall. It kind of looks like super, super small in the video, I feel like. But it's not that small. It's actually a really good space. Like, it's definitely bigger than my bedroom when I live with my mom. <laughs> so that's a plus. Um, yeah, I love it. I need to dust the ceiling. Because the ceilings are so high, they get like, um, not linty, uh, dusty. But, okay, I think I'm going to put the table over there. I don't think I'm going to do it today. Because I want the lamp. You see this black lamp? Like that? It's an LED lamp. And it was in our living room, in our last apartment. So I want to put that where it's kind of like overarching, like, my desk. So, like, I don't have to use a big light. And it's kind of like a spotlight. Cute, right? And then I was thinking to have, like, content creation on the other wall. So that's going to be, like backdrop for my pictures like maybe have like a body mirror and a stool or maybe i could do the body mirror on the same side yeah maybe i should do the body mirror on the same side as the table so you can't see the table i'm not 100 percent sure yet drop your suggestions i think i want to do like pompous in here i want to put something on the wall i, I really want to make it feel like modern earthy really modern but like What's a good word for my style? Like, I love white. Like, my chair is white. It's Sherpa. I'm so freaking excited about this chair. Um, my desk is white. I like white, black, creams, and browns. Like, neutrals. So, yeah. We need to get everything set up, though. Anyway. Yeah, but I haven't done that yet. Okay, anyway. My mama got me these for Christmas. Right now, I'm rambling. But I feel like everything that I'm saying right now is a light bothering y'all. Is that better? It might be a little dark. Anyway, my. Oof. Is that better? No. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, anyway, my mom got me books for Christmas. So on my Christmas list, I put self-help books. Like, I feel like I didn't go crazy on my Christmas list this year. I wanted to really do things that were going to help me. So I put, like, things for YouTube, self-help books, like, things that I can read and, like, learn from, you know? So she gave me, she bought me this book, which is a mastery journal. It's a life-changing guide for personal and professional greatness. And I'm excited to start reading this. I think I should probably start reading it today because why not and i want to also we're going to do my i'm not going to do my um i'm not going to do my vision board on my vlog because i kind of want to see like i don't want everyone to know my like my plans for the year not necessarily mm, just more so like my because i feel like a lot of the stuff is going to be personal so I'm kind of going to do a recap so we're going to see who catches back up at the end of 2023 because we're going to go I'm going to definitely go over my whole entire vision board at the end of 2023 I've never created a vision board I've always kind of created like oh this is my goal for the year so I'll like make three goals or something but nothing that I would like write down so it's January 2nd I didn't write it before January um before 2023 began because I just I thought about it and then I was just like you know what I want to just like dip into the new year and kind of like okay this is now let's create like a solid foundation for the year I don't know I didn't do it before but I kind of was thinking to myself like is it too late but it's January 2nd hun we're doing it it's whatever she also get, got me um the 5 a.m workbook it's um so there's this book called that it matches with it's called the 5 a.m club now this was not on my christmas list but i wanted self-help books but i did hear about this book and i was like oh my gosh you got it like i did hear about it but i would i never bought it i don't really buy books books for myself because i feel like it's kind of like a not a waste of money but i just to pay for a book is like mm. i'd rather go to like the library or something but she got me the 5 a.m club it's own your morning elevate your life i might start this one today because i'm actually really excited really excited to read this really excited because i've heard about it and i've heard great things about it and i just feel like i need i need this so with this book came the workbook well she not it didn't come with it she bought it separately the workbook did she buy it separately i don't know um and yeah i'm just excited about this one because like i'm just gonna like read the book and take notes in the book i guess and kind of follow along with what they're saying to do it says to record reading progress keynotes vocab like i'm excited like i'm not in school anymore well, i'm in college but like i want to take more times for me like i feel like i all my time is for other people everything that i do i feel like it's for someone else so i'm really excited for 2023 to be i hate to say it but like selfish so I'm excited to be selfish this year. I'm excited to start doing things like that I want to do, that I like to do. It's prioritizing. I feel like a lot of times in life, we forget to prioritize ourselves. also. Ugh, I can't stand this bra. I can't believe I'm on. No, no, I love the bra. I'm just a little heavy chested, but I do like the bra. It fits very comfortably. But a lot of the time, we forget to prioritize ourselves. So I'm excited. My mom got my girlfriend this book it's a four minute daily journal so you're supposed to like roll your dice pick your topic you, so when the dice has a bunch of topics you pick your topic and then you write you record yourself for four minutes and you just write about that topic and then my girlfriend's mama got me the daily a daily 12 month planner and it's pink um a daily 12 month planner so and it's kind of like it's not like a planner like Oh, you have this to do on this day. It's more like a reflection planner. Like you do plan out your important dates, but there's also like, like you can write like your goals for the month and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I, 2023 is heavy on self, self care. We're tapping in and we're finding the best version of ourselves. So I am excited to read this 5 a.m. club book though. Real, real excited. I really think I want to do it today, but yeah um i obviously have not done anything in my closet i mean in my office so there's really not much to do in here i just need to figure out where to put the things and i need to declutter so we're probably gonna go now we're gonna go do my vision board so i'm probably gonna talk to y'all later 
Um, I'm sleepy, but I'm not gonna take a nap. I'm gonna go ahead, do my vision board, get all my photos from Pinterest, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do because I'm sleepy and I'm not trying to go to sleep, so I need to give myself tasks. Alrighty, vision board. And then after the vision board, we're going to do something else that I saw on TikTok, um, creating like rates, even though I don't charge for rates right now for social media, um, because like my social media, obviously it's not booming like some other people, but, um, even though I don't charge for rates right now, I feel like I'm going to manifest that. So I'm going to go ahead and make my rates, um, thing and do a couple other things. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys. I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Oh, and then we need to go through the cabinet. And I need to order stuff on Amazon. So I need to... I feel like I have, like, ADHD. Like, I always go from one task to the next and don't finish it. And then I end up I end up taking so long on one task because I need to make sure it's completely done. And then... I just bounce around a lot. So, it's, like, kind of a bad thing. It's kind of a bad thing and because I can never get anything. Like, I feel like I'm getting it done, and then I need to bounce around to the next thing. But I need a nap. So, okay. We're going to go do that, and I'll call you guys later. Okay. So, you guys are probably going to be like, girl, it's 6.13. I laid in bed, and I took, like, a little nap, um, but not really a nap. So, I didn't. I was looking at stuff to do the vision board, Ugh, but it was just so, like, I don't know I've never done it before so I was getting a little overwhelmed um I'm talking a little loud right now because it's like my ears are literally clogged like they literally feel like I like literally feel like my ears are popped or something from being sick so instead of staying in the house any any longer I wanted to go to Target but that's if I get ready in time I wanted to kind of feel cute but um my girlfriend wants to go get some go get out back she gets off work at 7 30 so we're gonna get ready finally put a bra on that makes us feel a little confident instead of this <laughs> i literally sound like ugh. i'm not feeling it anyway my mom got me these this like makeup brush pack for christmas and she got me these black beauty blenders and i haven't used them but i was thinking maybe i should even make up really quick to feel kind of good about myself Anyway, I'm kind of digging this voice. Okay, we're going to get ready. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I don't know what I'm going to wear at all. But I was like, maybe I should do my makeup for real. Should I do it? Because I'm kind of feeling my skin has been on a, on a clean, no bump streak. We're just going to refresh. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just do my eyebrows. I don't know. Because I was on a real clean girl streak. No makeup, skin's clearing up. So, let's do the eyebrows. Okay, so for the eyebrows, I use this spoolie thing and then the e.l.f. brow lift. My sister told me about this. Thanks. I want you guys to be in front, but I really don't have that much space. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. And I should probably go get a better brow spoolie because this one is not even supposed to be brow spoolie, but we're going to ignore that. Do I want to do this right now? I look a mess. I literally look a mess. Mm. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it as I'm doing it already. Okay. And then we're just going to wipe around our brows. So all this like brow hold wax whatever this is isn't there okay so i finally got my butt up and got off tiktok and i'm gonna set you right here all right that's better so I finally got off TikTok. It's literally an addiction. It's really bad. I can sit on TikTok. I can sit on TikTok all day long 
and like just lay there on TikTok. It's so bad. So we finally got off TikTok. <laughs> and I just made my dog dinner and then I ran in here, found my camera and was like, okay guys, get up, bitches, we're going shopping. It's like, I still need to order this stuff on Amazon. Honestly, remember how I said like I'm all over the place? I literally like, I said I need to do something and then, am my apple sashi? I said I need to do something and then it doesn't get done because I'm just, I'm like, I can do it any other day of the week. Why do I have to do it right now? And then any other day of the week comes up and I'm like, oh my God, I still haven't done this and it still doesn't get done. So, okay, anyway, that is our brows. I need to flatten it probably just one more time. So I make sure that they stay. My sister taught me, okay, so Simone doesn't wear any makeup. I don't wear any makeup on a regular. My sister, I was like, ugh, the brow gel that you told me to get is not even that fire. Like, it's not good. I don't use brow gel on a regular. I use like this, before I used to use like this. Girl, don't laugh at me. Um, what is it called? What is it called? So the white stuff that you put on your lashes before you put mascara like uh, eyelash primer. I used to wear that on my, I used to wear that on my um, eyebrows because I'm like, well, it holds them. So, and then it would like dry clear. So I was like, okay. And then I would, and then for a little bit, I was using the, for a little bit, I was using the freaking clear eyebrow, I mean clear, uh, mascara because I saw the girls on TikTok using that, but that just made my eyebrows flick like gel. I was like, oh, mm -mm. so I didn't use it anymore. So I stopped using it, and then I'm happy that I found this because I feel like it literally looks like a laminated brow. Yeah, it looks so good. Okay, Ooh. okay, brows are done, and I already put moisturizer and stuff on maybe i could use a little bit more moisturizer or maybe i'll just go in with sunscreen oh that's too much sunscreen it's dark outside come on now i haven't used this sunscreen in a while because the moisturizer that i use has sunscreen and i don't be outside i be sitting in the house so i was just like i don't need the extra layer of sunscreen if i literally am gonna be in the house but I loved how glowy this made me. Like I used to wear this just as my moisturizer and my sunscreen, the um, black girl sunscreen. But, mm, yeah. Oh, I miss the way this feels on my face. And it makes you so glowy. But yeah. So if I have enough time between getting ready and getting out of the house i'm just gonna go ahead and go to target i think my dog just picked up his ball he's so annoying but yeah this year i want to get more consistent on youtube um the two videos that i was trying to post before this one were a flop they literally didn't get posted because one i edited the whole thing and then it didn't go and i literally would not transfer to youtube i tried for two days so i just deleted it hello are you all done let me wipe his face before he falls on my floor. <laughs> Let me get your face. Let me get the face. Okay, like the videos that I have tried to post, the one flopped, and then the second one that I was doing in Maryland, that was just, that was something. That was actually terrible. I couldn't even like, I couldn't vlog. Like I was staying at my girlfriend's mom's house, and then I just felt like, I was like, I was always around everybody, so I'm like, well, to vlog would have been weird because I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I have a YouTube. And then they're gonna be like, with 100 subscribers. <laughs> so I didn't do it. I was a little embarrassed, but it's okay. So now I'm like, okay, hold on. So now I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do it this is not this is a night repair for under eyes so i'm not using this right now 
get makeup or throw all of my old stuff away. But I'm just not like an advanced girl. So I went to Sephora and tried this um concealer and they didn't even write which one. I think it was Rare Beauty. But they didn't even write which one it is, so I forgot. Come here. Come here. Come here. And this one is 410. It's leaving me. And I just feel like this one does not match. I can't remember. I think this was not the one that matched. That's like a, like that's not my color. Well, I guess it kind of could be. No, girl, that is way too fucking dark. Be fucking for real. We're still gonna do it. So I saw the girl on, on TikTok say the reason why you're, it's blotchy is because A, your, this thing is too wet so i saw somebody in the comments say she squeezes the shit out of it excuse my french and then she says you need to dab it from on your hand yeah it's too dark but that's like no product like where is that going nowhere literally nowhere what what, what is this yeah i'm not following the rules on tiktok anymore because if i dab it onto my hand it's going into my hand skin. It's not going into my face. She says so it applies evenly. Why are you lying to me? It's like, she's probably not lying, but I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I tightened the straps on this bra and I tried to put the shirt back on because I literally need to leave like right now. And I was just like, maybe I'm just, maybe I just don't feel good right now in like a muscle top. I just feel like I look too big. So we're just gonna put my slick back my hair because it needs to be slicked. And we're just gonna wear a hoodie. I told myself I was gonna try and be more self-confident, but you know, if a hoodie is what makes me feel confident right now, hate that for me, but like covering my back and my arms is what's making me feel better. And I told myself like, I wanna stop doing that. Like I wanna stop wearing a big jacket. I want to stop wearing, let me shoot you down so you can see more. Um, I want to stop wearing like a big jacket. I want to stop wearing like, like this is what I prefer. Like I just feel like I look cuter this way. And the muscle tee, I was trying to make it like work because it comes as a skim set. I liked it as a set because it was like a lounge set, but I used to love crop tops and now they just make me feel so insecure. I don't like feeling this way. I I feel like I just started feeling this way more so recently through this second period of change because I gained just, I mean, this is my heaviest weight I've ever, like literally ever, even when I gained weight like after high school and stuff, this is my heaviest weight, 230 pounds. So to some people that might not be a lot, to some people they'll be like, damn, like that's a lot. To me, it's not like a crazy number per se, but it's just like, it looks a lot on me. And, and again, some people will disagree, some people will agree, some people will be like, whatever, but I just feel like like my back, it's really my back and my arms. My arms used to be so skinny when, back before I like gained any weight, like they used to be so skinny when I was like 130 pounds and I used to feel so insecure about them. Now I'm just like, why is it so hard to lose weight? Like, I literally was looking up things. I just don't understand. Like, it's really hard. And I even want to go get tested because they said, like, my thyroids are kind of, um, my thyroids are kind of, ignore this. We just came back from vacation. Um, but they said my thyroid levels were kind of off. So I'm like, maybe I should go get my thyroid checked because I don't know, is it PCOS? I don't wanna say I have anything, but it's just been a real struggle for the last two to three years to lose weight, like, and keep it off. Like I said, like a cracker, I just feel like I gained 10 freaking pounds and it's like not normal. Like, 
like eating in moderation is great but it truly like like i feel like i'm gonna have to eat in a caloric deficit my whole life i guess my metabolism is so effed but i just want to be able to eat like an enjoyable dinner and that i don't have to be like like i want to be able to eat recklessly once in a blue moon and not gain weight from it not all the time because i know people who are like this like how who have the same struggles as i do they're not going to be able to eat like i want to say like normal people but like your average person they're not going to be able to eat like that like the girls i kind of envy not envy but i kind of envy the girls who can eat whatever and they have like this slim thick shape like and you don't even have to work out i envy that because i'm like not envy the person but <coughs> i just envy it because i don't like the word envy okay all girls are girls period love you gorgeous 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 girls but i just wish like to an extent, I could also, like, why is it so difficult? Like, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> like, why is it so difficult? I don't know. That was just my little chat. Because if you're like me and you gain weight super easily, I'm really excited to step back in to, like, my old way of losing weight because it definitely showed me results i just need to figure out how to like keep it up like for long term like it was long term like i lost the weight over many months but probably over like four but like i stopped working out for like almost a year after and it's just because i was going i was moving to college and it kind of, not a year, maybe six months, and I gained, like, weight, I gained, like, 30 pounds back. But I'm like, why is it so easy to gain 30 pounds? Like, what? Hello? Hello? Let me put some deodorant on. Hey, Google, what time is it in San Marcos, Texas? The time in San Marcos, Texas, is 7.22 p.m. Oh, I have to be right now. But, yeah, I just feel like it's difficult, and it's a little frustrating. But if you're a girly like me and you got all this going on and you feel like it's difficult, I'm excited to kind of show content of my food maybe. I don't know what you guys would like to see. If, with, if you ever do, when you ever do see this video, let me know because genuinely, there needs to be more people like us. Like there needs to be more people who can eat a cracker and gain fucking 20 pounds. Like, and I have yet to find, like, a bigger girl influencer with my body type. Actually, I found one on TikTok, and then I lost her. I found one on TikTok the other day, and I was like, you literally have my exact, like, the exact way my body looks. Titties fucking huge. You have, like, a kind of a butt. Not, I don't got a big butt, but I got something back there. The way, like, her stomach was, like, everything about her proportions, well, I was like, this is me. Your body is me. And when people are, are on TikTok and they're like, oh my gosh, I've never seen somebody with their, my body type. I'd be like, girl, be quiet. Dead ass. I've never seen one. I found her. I just like a little hater or something. No, I'm not a hater. But yeah, we're going to have fun. And we're going to take you on the date. Because why not? All right. We're giving the girls a fashion statement. I need to pick that up. I got makeup on my rug. Eek. But yeah. Oh, we're leaving. Hold on. We're leaving right now. Okay. We're leaving. I'm leaving. No one's leaving with me. But I'll call you guys later. Um, thanks for having this shit chat with me. So call you later. Okay, so we're at dinner, and my girlfriend went to the bathroom, so I was like, okay, maybe I should vlog in this busy ass restaurant. So I had to help with my um, executive <laughs> with filming in public. So then I was like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. But um, yeah, we're gonna order our food, and then we're gonna go to Target afterwards because, yeah, and I feel like this table is staring at me, but.
We ended up going to Target. So to end off the video, I wanted to do a Target haul. Because I wanted to, I gave you guys a grocery haul earlier and I wanted to do a Target haul. So we're gonna do it right quick before I end up getting in the shower and going to sleep. Okay. I got these cream pants because I wanted them ever since I saw them on TikTok. And my Target did not have them. So I'm happy to finally have a pair of cream sweatpants. I got a large, probably could have got an extra large, but super cute. And they were $30, $25, which is crazy expensive for a pair of sweatpants. We re upped on toothpaste. We got a bottle of wine. We got Dove body wash. We got two of them. So we got this one, which is the um, shea butter and vanilla. And then we also got the deep moisture one. And then we got this cocoa butter one this is this is actually a staple we literally always get this every time we go and we got air fresheners like the plug-in ones because we have like the plug-in we just need more refills and then i got these wine bottles they're these ones they're supposed to be for white wine but um who cares it was a four pack but one was broken so i just said can i get a discount she gave me 25 percent off I honestly wonder if I could like glue it because I probably can. Anyway, one was broken. So we have, they're really cute though. Cute. They're cute. But there's only three. So I really like them. But I'm fine with three because it's only two of us and we don't normally have a lot of guests anyway. And if we do have guests, we have cups. I'm happy that I picked them up. So she ended up giving me 25% off. So it was like $20 in total. But I don't think that I can glue this because it's not even going to be the same height. Let's see. Yeah, it's literally not going to be. That's sad, but it was cute. But whatever. Um, but yeah, that's what I got from Target. Did I get anything else? No, I didn't. But yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> let's move everything to the side. Dang. Alrighty, well, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching my vlog, even though it was short and I really didn't do too much. Um, my girlfriend's brother is probably going to come over so we can open up some Christmas presents, late Christmas presents for 2023. But that's okay. Hopefully this video gets edited and up. I think I like my makeup today. Anyway, hopefully this video gets edited and goes up. But we ended up going to dinner, Target, and then now we're back home, so. And we went to the Alice store, but they were closed. But yeah. Um, anyway, it's not sponsored does in our video. How about that? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, I guess I'll just call you guys later. Talk to you in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully that's not weird to say. Okay, bye. Oh, and welcome to 2023. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great year. Wow, I look super sweaty in this lighting now. Did my hold on. My skin is. Anyway. Okay. Bye.